Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. I am thrilled to have on the phone with me today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, Jason Blaine. Welcome, Jason. Hey, Linda. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, we're here to talk about a couple of things today. The big one is you've got a really special contest that will be, uh, it's being launched May 21st, or the announcement is May 21st, and uh, tell us a little bit about that. This is a really cool thing that, that we're doing. We've partnered up with our friends at Long and McQuaid, and uh, I love that. I love those guys. I've bought a lot of instruments and gear from them over the years, so it's really cool to partner with them on this, this thing that we're doing. Um, I sent it around my single, Boy with a Guitar. It all kicks off on June 4th and runs till. June 18th, what we're doing is we've taken out the solo in my song, Boy With A Guitar, the solo that I played, and we're going to have a version without a solo available online for fans that play guitar to play along to and tag it, uh, hashtag Boy With The Guitar, tag themselves in the song. Um, we're going to choose a, a winner. The best winner, get this, Linda, is going to be flown to Muscle Shoals, Alabama, to record and play guitar, a guitar solo on my song in the studio that the Rolling Stones played at and so many other greats. How about that? That is awesome. I want to win this. <laughs> well, you can if you play a little bit of guitar, you don't have to be great, you don't have to be amazing, but um, just do your thing on it, do your original thing, and uh, tag it, put it online, uh, hashtag boy with the guitar. And uh, we're going to choose a winner. Well, there's a lot better guitarists out there than me. It's been a while since I've really played. Uh, although I do have two guitars in my possession. So, um, <laughs> but it, this would be great for anybody who plays guitar and wants to show off their skills. Definitely, right? Yeah, absolutely. And Long and McQuaid's going to be sharing it on all their social media. I'm going to be sharing it on mine. Um, and again, it runs from June 4th to, um, uh, June 18th. And, um, so yeah, and, um, I'm really, really excited about this. This is something really, really cool. I, I wish that, uh, there was something like this whenever, uh, when I was sort of a boy with the guitar in my bedroom, um, just sort of learning how to play and, 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 um, dreaming about playing on big stages one day. Mm hmm. And it's a great song. Um, this was released a couple of months ago. I can't remember whether it was February or March that it was released to radio. Yeah, so it was released in February. February. Okay. Okay. And it's doing well. I'm hearing it. Uh, you know, I travel a lot around Ontario and all my presets, all my stations are playing it. So I love that. Absolutely love that. Well, thank you very much for your kind words. I, I always love this song. It's the title track of my new EP and there's six songs on the on the new EP I, I call I still call it new it was released in November along with uh, Born to Love on it um, I'll be performing Boy With The Guitar on the CMAOs this year and uh, I'm really excited about that too it's, uh, it's a real honor to have a couple of nominations again I'm looking forward to that yes you have three nominations this year single of the year for Born to Love male artist of the year and record producer of the year with our buddy Dwayne Thompson for Born to Love. That's right. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making this EP, and um, I'm really uh, stoked to get back up there to uh, to see everybody this year in London. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it's going to be a fun time, and and you're you actually have a very busy schedule for for the CMA Ontario Awards and Conference. Uh, you're going to be at the softball challenge on June the 1st. Uh, yes, I missed that last year. I really, uh, I love to play uh, softball. I, I played uh, as, a, as a kid and stuff, and um, I missed it last year, and it looked like such a great time, so I'm really glad I can make it this year. It, it definitely was a great opportunity to see everybody in action, and, and we still talk about... Um, Chris McComb from Rivertown Saints, the shorts he wore. I think he wore those just to distract everybody. <laughs> uh, I love those guys. Those guys are good buddies of mine. They are. They truly are. Um, and you're also doing a, a, 
you're going to be at Rum Runners for Songs and Stories later that night after the ball game. Yeah, that's going to be a great time. I love just breaking down the songs, you know, and, and kind of playing them for, for fans and, and, and sort of aspiring songwriters and people that are interested in seeing really how, how the songs come to life and, and seeing them in their original form with just, you know, an acoustic guitar and, and, a, and, and that's it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And after CMA, CMA Ontario Conference and Awards wraps up, um, you have your fifth annual charity golf classic going on in Pembroke. I do, and I'm really uh, stoked about that. And th this is our fifth annual, and uh, we've got my good friends JoJo Mason and Patrick along with the Rivertown Saints and my good pals, the Western Swing Authority. Uh, they've been backing up all of our artists and, and also, you know, doing their thing, which I love so much um, for the fifth year in a row. So um, it's going to be it's going to be great. Today we've raised over three hundred thousand dollars and uh, we hope to have another great success this year. Um, but I'm really excited to have all those guys as my guests. It, it sounds fantastic. You have a, a concert uh, on June the 12th and all those people will be performing, including yourself. And then the Saturday is the actual golf tournament. Is that right? You got it. Okay. That's right. And um, there's more information um, up on jasonblainecharity.com. Um, this is a little website that we've created for it um, that mentions, again, our guests and our sponsors. And there's past videos of, you know, friends like uh, Tim Hicks and Tad Brownlee and Dallas Smith and Jason McCoy and Gord Bamford and all, all of our guests that have come out um, in the past, Aaron Pichette, Kira Isabella. Um, we've been really, really blessed to have a lot of great guests. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would love to get out to it, usually because we're just finishing up CMA Ontario stuff and I'm into one thing and another. I just haven't been able to get out yet, but, you know, fingers crossed, maybe this will be my year. <laughs> I hope so. Well, that would be It'll be lovely. <laughs> um, and where the money raised, where does that go to? Well, we this is the fifth year in a row we've uh, partnered with the Boys and Girls Club. They do great work, especially their after-school programs. Um, we've also benefited um, the college that I went to. They built a beautiful campus right on the waterfront in Pembroke, my hometown. Uh, of, it's a Pembroke campus of Algonquin College. For the last two years, we've been doing student bursaries. And then we've helped out a number of organizations. Uh, we helped the Legion um, uh, get a new fridge. We, we helped uh, the local rec center get some new uh, some new up updates. Um, gosh, we've even helped um, sort of a, a new a new mom um, program um, be able to sort of afford um, some of the essentials that, that a new mom would need. And so, um, just a, a variety of things. Our, our mission is to is to really try to meet the needs of the community at, at, at the greatest needs of the community at any given time. That sounds fantastic. I love it. So you're really spreading that money around that's raised, and that's it's great. I love it. I love it. It's good work. Thank you, Linda. Uh, so I have cannot talk to you today without talking about Tebe's Denim on Denim video that was released earlier this week. You and your son, Caden, are, are in that, and it's absolutely fantastic. How much fun was it to help Tebe out with that? <laughs> Well, I was really, uh, I was really thrilled to be asked to do that. Um, Tebe and his manager uh, Jill Snell, um, a longtime friend of mine, and they reached out uh, to get me to, to do something. And they told me about the concept that it was going to, you know, go to uh, help out breast cancer research and stuff, and which is just wonderful. And, and I think anytime you can use your gifts of music to uh, to make a greater impact, I think it's a great thing. So um, I was thrilled to be asked, thrilled to do it, and I thought. I immediately thought of, uh, of my little boy, Kate, and uh, I just didn't want to sit there and dance around in my denim on denim by myself, <laughs> so um, <laughs> nobody really wants to see that, so uh, babies, babies win. I put Me and Kate, and we, we did it together, and we rocked out together, and, and we had a lot of fun doing it, so everybody go and, go and check that out on, on uh, all of our social medias. You can check it out on uh, my Instagram and Tabay's Instagram and Facebook and all that. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I think you have a future guitarist there on your hands. <laughs> You know what? I think you're right. He he he's already uh, he's already banging away on it. Great. Uh, yeah, that was really great video. Uh, Jason McCoy was there with his daughter Grace. There's Kira Isabella dancing around. Dean Brody, Tim Hicks, um, 
Oh, I'm missing. Oh, uh, Patricia Conroy. Who else am I missing? It's just yes, fantastic Val, video. Yeah, Alex is in there too. Yeah, Madeline Malone. There's mm-hmm. so many uh, artists. You know, that's what I love about this country music community, man. I, I got to tell you, and you know this, Linda. You know, when you when you reach out to your artist friends, they're in the country music community. They're always the first to uh, to, to lend a helping hand and, and, and support whatever it is that you're doing. I, and I love that about our community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it it is. It's community. It's family. And and you're just all fantastic pulling together for this sort of stuff. So thank Definitely. you. Definitely, and, and I will say too, it's very easy to do. I, I'm a big fan of uh, of this song of Tay Bay's, and it's doing really, really well for him, um, which is wonderful because it's a killer song. Denim on Denim uh, is just a super fun track. So we're really happy to see it doing well. Mhm, mhm. And we're loving Boy with a Guitar, which is you know your current single. So please, if you're listening to this interview and you like the song, request it at radio. And uh, Jason, we look forward to seeing you in London in about two weeks' time for the CMA CMA Ontario Conference and Awards. Sounds great. Thanks very much for the interview, Linda, and thanks to everyone at Canadian Beat. Uh, Take care, everybody. We'll see you in London. Thanks, Jason. We've been speaking with Jason Blaine, and I am Linda Heldman for Canadian Beats.